<laughs> Call to order uh, the regular board meeting scheduled for July 15th, uh, 2014 at 701. Uh, please call the roll. Riley. Here. Boyles. Here. Gray. Here. Callahan absent. Tillman. Here. Uh, we have a quorum. Uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are there any items to be added or removed or changed on the agenda? Yes, matter of fact, uh, we need to remove personnel from executive session. Okay. So, not be in executive session. We'll scrap executive session. Oh, we all got it. Okay. Um, I would like to entertain a motion to establish the consent agenda, which includes the approval of minutes for the regular board meeting for June 17th, 2014. Approval of the minutes for the executive session of June 17, 2014. Approval of the paid expenditures, unpaid expenditures, treasury report, purchases, and the approval of the ordinance number 339, which is an ordinance implementing the provisions of the State Officials and Employees Ethics Act. Second. Motion by Foyles, second by Gray. Um, please call the roll. Mm. Foyles. Aye. Gray. Yay. Aye. Aye. Callahan absent, Tillman. Aye, motion carries. Um, I would like to entertain a motion to uh, approve the consent agenda as established. Second. Motion by Foyle, second by Gray. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? A motion carries. Are there any guest matters from the public? <laughs> We should give it some time. <laughs> yeah. In case anybody comes running in. Yeah. At okay. Seeing nothing, uh, hey, we'll move on. <laughs> I could put the public like, You could be. Go around some up. Uh, yeah, you want to go drag the people off the street? Wrangle <laughs> them uh, Any matters from the commissioners? Yes, I just wanted to um, compliment the staff on the Windmill City Festival. Um, some of the hardest working people I've ever seen down there running around. So. Um, you know, it seemed to go off very, very well, despite some of the weather challenges. Yep. Thank you. Well, and thank you for supporting yep. it, coming down for the Bags Tournament and working it every year. And yep. You put some sweat, sweat mm. equity into it, too. Right. And the Parks Foundation people also worked very, very hard and raised mm -hmm. a few hundred dollars for the uh, Parks Foundation as well. It's awesome. Uh, thank you. Um, I'd like to say uh, my four-year-old's gone to a couple of the New Horizons summer camps, and those have been great, as always. Um, and again, to ditto what Gary said, um, Windmill City Festival was awesome, as it always is. Um, clean, family-friendly, and my four-year-old was in the ice cream co eating contest, and now he wants to eat everything without hands. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still at home. <laughs> so, it's been a fun couple of nights of dinner, but it was great. Is his hair still blue from the <laughs> Superman ice cream? He, he finally came out. <laughs> a little sticky, but yeah, he's good. Awesome. Kevin, anything? No, it's the... I, I wasn't able to attend, but I'm sure there was a fantastic event like it always is every right. year. Uh, I was not able to attend. Uh, I was, uh, and to brag on uh, my girls, I was actually at a tournament for our fifth and sixth grade girls, uh, which is the park district team, and they took first place over the weekend. So um, kudos to them. They did an awesome job. So. I'm assuming that's basketball. It is basketball, yes. It's the fifth and sixth grade girls basketball program that uh, we play. It's it's funny because we were the only park district team. Everybody else was a big time club team. And we went out and beat everybody. Um, the play-in game we won by one point and the championship we won by three, so it was very exciting. Perfect. And Good my daughter call, coached man. all of them. She was awesome. Good job, guys. So, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Um, Okay, moving on. Um, correspondence, we have three. We have a letter from uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Southern Kane and Kendall Counties uh, for a donation for uh, Hall Quarry Beach. Uh, letters of congratulations from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources for the grant we received, very nice. And a uh, letter from 
PDRMA for uh, stating for the Park Foundations uh, covered underneath uh, the Park District Insurance. So if we can make sure those are all entered, mm -hmm. that'd be great. Will do. And announcements. Thank you. That was a very nice addition. I'm going to make you do that every time. <laughs> and in the news. The Batavia Depot Museum will present the 8th Annual Quilt and Textile Show this coming weekend, Friday, July 18th through Sunday, July 20th at the Eastside Community Center and Shannon Hall. The show runs from 1 to 6 on Friday and 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. This year's show will feature a Route 66 traveling exhibit. Details on the show can be found online at BataviaQuiltShow.com. Join the Batavia Park District for a movie in the park on Wednesday, July 23rd and Wednesday, August 6th. The, th the free movies will be held at the Riverwalk following the concert series at approximately 8.30 p.m. The July 23rd movie in the park will be E.T. the Extraterrestrial, a classic movie for both kids and adults. The August 6th movie in the park will feature the family-friendly flick, The Goonies. Concessions will be available, and don't forget about tomorrow night's concert, Stealing Ginger, at 7 p.m. at the Riverwalk. The Batavia Park District has teamed up with the Batavia Chamber of Commerce to host the 22nd annual State Championship Chili Cook-Off on Saturday, July 26th at the Riverwalk. If you're interested in showing off your cooking skills, you can enter one of three divisions, Homestyle, Restaurant, or CASI, which stands for Chili Appreciation Society International. If you don't want to compete, then just come to eat. Tasting cups are available for $5 and proceeds benefit the Batavia Teen Center. Applications are available online at BataviaParks.org. For more information, please call 879-5235 or visit BataviaParks.org. Thank you. I, you know, I gotta tell you, uh, you gotta love a country that has the Chile Appreciation Society International, <laughs> like an official Chile <laughs> deal, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Talk to those folks, they are. Yeah. Oh, they're serious. Uh, they are some hardcore Chile people. Yeah. Sure. And, and don't get a bean near them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. So turn into the rules. Yeah. Yeah. Beans allowed. Right. Beans allowed. <laughs> uh, um, staff reports. Um, after reading these, is there anything to add or would you like to elaborate on it? Yes, I would. Um, I'd like to elaborate that the audit is near. It's in about two weeks, so I'm definitely ready to go. These are our new auditors this year, uh, Secretary LLP. We did receive your audit letters, I assume, by mail. Um, so as normal time frame, you, we, we'll get, we will send out the, or actually get approved, the audit in October, just in time to start the budget process for January 1st. Have fun. Well, and I wanted to tell all of you and our listening audience that uh, in our finance department report, it says that Engstrom was going slow. And indeed it was. However, this last week, things have really picked up and we've gotten the trail system has now been paved. All the pathway is paved. And it, we walked the entire thing this afternoon and it's gorgeous. When you think about how tiny those little pathways were, mm -hmm. it was amazing. They're like two uh, or three times as wide. It's, like yes, e yeah. easily yeah. double. Yeah. Yeah. They're eight plus. Wow. Yeah. Um, so it really was fun to walk it, and folks are really going to enjoy it a lot. And as we go along, the, we've got a dry week coming, so now they're, they're doing underground stuff that's kind of not real exciting, but mm -hmm. necessary. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a good project. I know they must have been eager to get going. I went by there probably about 7.30 Friday night, and they were out there working. Yeah, well, they had to get everything wrapped up oh, for the campus. weekend. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they've had some open stuff, and they they know they have to close it all up. So Jim has done a very good job of communicating his expectations to them. Yes, good. they were slacking a little bit. So <laughs> awesome. I just wanted to give a, another shout out to our uh, youth conservation core team. Um, we received the the help from. Um, 11 young adults to do work in our parks uh, from a Department of Natural Resource grant that this fine young lady to the right of me, our HR manager, Jennifer Brueggemann, uh, and uh, she was able to obtain the grant and then um, the entire park district benefited, but the parks department, I think by far, has benefited the most. And um, I also want to say kudos to the team's uh, supervisor, uh, uh, Sawyer Rigo, uh, he's uh, done a, an excellent job uh, with the kids, uh, instills good uh, uh, work ethics and has high quality of uh, 
integrity that brings to the team. So um, we've uh, met and exceeded our expectations of uh, the 15 playgrounds we wanted to get done uh, as of today. We're on six, uh, six, finish 16. So we're hoping to get a couple more done before we start some other projects uh, that we have slated uh, for them to do. So uh, they've been a, a great help. So thanks, Jennifer, for scoring that grant for us. And, awesome. You know, and thanks to the team. Great. Thank you. I am in the midst of planning and implementing a lot of fun staff trainings. We kicked off our Strengths Finders tests for all of our full-time staff. and starting to trickle in some of the results. As you all know from participating, it can really be a nice boost to understanding where your strengths are and helping you pick the projects that you'll be best suited for. So the district can really benefit even more from what every staff person has to offer, as well as put teams together more strategically. So we're pretty excited about that. Great, thank you. Um, our intern, Angie, I'm very sorry to say that next week is already her last week, which is mm -hmm. insane how quickly this summer has gone by. Um, Angie has been fantastic, so I'm looking forward to uh, sitting down with her on Friday. We're going to kind of talk about what she's done to this point. Um, maybe hear some recommendations for her on what we could improve on for the internship um, and talk about any other projects um, that she'd like to wrap up just for her own portfolio. So she is working on a column right now, so she has a bylined article under her belt for the Chronicle for the, cool. the Park District's monthly column. So. So that'll give her some good experience as well. So, um, and then for River Rhapsody, Mother Nature has not really been on our side so far, um, but I'm happy to report it's supposed to be 73 and sunny tomorrow. So hopefully we get a good crowd for tomorrow night's concert. So, and then the rest of my update will be momentarily. Just bring blankets. It's supposed to get a little, mm -hmm. little chilly. And a, ch and a jacket. And a jacket, a yeah. little something. But that'll make it cozy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, then Carla? Oh, yes. yes. I'm Hello. here tonight to promote the quilt show, <laughs> naturally. And um, like Carrie said, it is our eighth annual quilt show. We're very excited about the uh, traveling um, Route 66 exhibit that's coming in. Uh, it is actually 66 feet long and about eight feet tall, and it covers uh, eight states. And um, they're all quilts. It's made by professional quilters and has been traveling around the United States for three years. So it's been all across the United States. We're very excited to have that. We have some other beautiful, beautiful quilts as usual uh, for the show. We're offering a lot of classes and a vendor hall as well. So we're really excited about the, the show again this year. And um, also at your places, I did put um, a, an ornament that we've created for the 160th birthday of our building, the, the depot, and um, it is celebrating its birthday. We'll be uh, celebrating that birthday uh, in the fall with our Civil War encampment that we're doing. And if you got a chance to see the um, Park District brochure, the fall brochure that came out today, it, we have a wonderful, wonderful set of, of uh, programs that are going to go along with that in Camden. Much larger than last year's. So we're very excited about it. Will you be selling these? Yes. We will At the museum? Them. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Quilt show is Friday through Sunday? Friday through Sunday. Awesome. Thank you. Very cool. Um, okay. Executive Director's report. Yes, on behalf of the Batavia Park District, I would like to thank uh, the Batavia Chamber of Commerce, the City of Batavia, the City of Batavia's uh, Fire and Police Departments, um, and all of the civic organizations that helped us during this year's Windmill City Festival. Um, without the help of our sponsors and our community members, um, the festival would not be made possible. So. Truly, everyone came together, uh, collaborated as a team, and made the festival a tremendous success. So a special thank you to, to everyone who was a part of it. Um, also, uh, the Chippin organization um, is a newly founded organization, uh, spearheaded by Joanne Spitz and Melinda Kintz. And the two of them um, have really formed a great team who have uh, kind of adopted their first project was um, to send kids from the Batavia apartments to the junior Bulldog football camp. 
And so they ended up sending 13 kids uh, to our football camp um, with the help of the Park District and the Batavia Parks Foundation. And the school district actually um, offered their coach buses mm -hmm. for free as well. So it was just a win-win situation. Kids that normally would not have been able to participate um, in our football camp had a chance to uh, build camaraderie with the current football players and really had a chance to, to dig their cleats into the ground um, with the people that they've admired so much, but they just didn't have that opportunity before. So fortunately, thanks to Chippen and the Parks Foundation and the Park District staff, we were able to make it happen. Yeah, that's exactly. exciting. I was reading that. That's really, that's really cool. I like that, the fact that we can incorporate, I mean, because they're all around town. Everybody sees, you know, everybody else. They all know each other. And mm -hmm. if they get a chance to play with each other in that way, that's, I'm sure that was fantastic for them. Yep, especially when you hear stories about, like, LeBron James. You hear stories, mm -hmm. you look at celebrities, celebrity athletes that mm -hmm. Um, have come a long way and a lot of these kids have so much talent they just haven't had that opportunity financially to be able to to do some of these things right and golden opportunity yeah, um, something else uh, the Batavia Parks Foundation is uh, really wrapping up the last uh, couple of months of the boardwalk project down at the Riverwalk and so the Batavia Park District staff is going to take two weekends down at the Riverwalk and uh, are going to be putting the planks down and securing them tightly, and um, we're excited about a dedication that's gonna take place in September, actually, the same weekend as the Art and Gurai Festival. Oh, cool, so, okay. So we're really looking forward to it. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, 12A, presentations, branding presentation, unveiling of the new <coughs> Batavia Park District logo. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. First things first, we are going to start by doing the official unveiling of the new sign behind you. So to prep. The sign right here? So, yes. I thought it was, that was the new sign. I thought that was the new brand. <laughs> I was a bit disappointed. Make sure the New Horizons preschool staff come in and color it green. <laughs> um, just to kind of preface just a little bit. Um, the current Batavia Park District logo was created in the 1980s, so it's over 20 years old. It's tired, it's outdated, and quite frankly, it was made by putting pieces of clip art together. So fast forward to 2014, um, it's the great pleasure to unveil the brand new logo for the Park District. Candies. Oh wait, your drum roll, please. Oh, oh wait, you got a phone check out. Oh. Oh. Picture. Yeah, do you want to get all the board? Yes, please. Here, have a stand behind this. No. <laughs> Red Rover. <laughs> 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 How's my hair look? <laughs> you can Photoshop yeah. Janet, right? <laughs> it looks oh, great. We know. <laughs> All right. That's fantastic. Oh, that's not the same coat you were wearing two seconds ago. Oh, look, it's like graduation. That was pretty cool. What if she got you like a small? You had to put it on there. Right. Big guy. Like whole super. I like the little button. Yeah. 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 Okay, so this oh, has definitely been a labor of love for many staff here at the Park District. Um, as Allison alluded to, the, the old logo was more than 20 years old, which um, for a company's identity is very much outdated. Um, it didn't represent who we are and what we do. Um, and as part of a master plan put together a few years ago by staff and with the help of other people, um, it, was, it was brought to our attention that we definitely needed a new fresh look as Allison had mentioned. And go to the next one. Thank you. Um, our mission statement when it was updated a couple years ago, um, is our new mission statement now, is committed to providing fun, safe, and innovative open space and recreational opportunities 
that will enrich the quality of life for our residents. Uh, two of those key words, sorry, are fun and innovation. So in talking to the designer that was hired to come up with the new logo, um, those were two words that really kind of stood out. Um, we definitely wanted, uh, we, we represent fun, that's what we do for a living. So um, we definitely wanted fun to be a key component. Um, and then innovation, we wanted something that showed forward thinking and forward moving. Um, we wanted to kind of tie in a vibrant, colorful look and feel like our new website. Um, so that was another key component in talking to the designer where it was talking about the colors. Um, different colors psychologically mean different things. Um, so it was kind of important to kind of really think about what colors we wanted. We wanted, um, and this new logo, um, you know, and showing it to many staff members, it was kind of fun to see what people's interpretation was. Uh, some people thought it was an interpretation of a windmill, which is perfect because that ties into the city of energy as Batavia it is, and the history of windmills within, you know, within our community. So it kind of pays, pays homage to that a little bit. Um, other people saw a bright, playful pinwheel, which um, I, in my neighborhood, there's a house that has some of those pinwheels in their yard, and now every time after, you know, <laughs> after rolling this out, now every time I drive by that house, I immediately think of our new logo. So I'm kind of hoping that that's kind of what it does for people when they see, you know, that colorful, bright, spinning pin pinwheel. It kind of makes them think of the park district. And then some people have also uh, seen a, a colorful flower, um, which kind of relates to our parks and, you know, our tie-in with nature. So in, t in talking about the colors, um, blue is associated with depth and stability. Um, so for us, that kind of symbolizes the Hawkeye Beach and the Fox River. Um, green talks about gro growth and freshness, which again ties in greatly with our new, with our new uh, mission statement. And that pays tribute to our 40 <coughs> park sites and our mission to maintain open space. Mm -hmm. Yellow, joy and happiness, what we hope that all of the people who come to the park district feel. Um, and it represents sunshine and energy. <laughs> Um, and purple is associated with creativity and knowledge, something again that from the recreation side is something that we try to instill in all of our programs and our activities. So as you have seen up here, uh, this is the official new Batavia Park District logo, which I am super excited about as all staff is, I hope. So as part of the new logo, obviously there's going to be an action plan implemented to roll it out. So part of that is the business cards, um, which you can see the horizontal business card at the top is what staff will have. Um, Allison had the great idea to allow staff to choose the color, one of the four colors, um, so that each staff person kind of you know, has their own little unique spin on it. Um, and then the, the letterhead and the envelopes. So those are all being produced. And again, so the, the, that just represented the, the four colors. Um, so part of that, um, with this new logo is kind of raising the bar for the Park District, which is something that Allison has been implementing the entire time under her leadership. Um, it kind of steps out of the typical, quote unquote, typical Park District logo, which you see a lot of trees, which we had in our old logo. Um, and we wanted to kind of step out of that a little bit. And we wanted it to really represent Batavia. And like I said, the fun, the innovation, the playfulness, um, and again, the windmill, which it, it kind of ties into as well. Um, so again, this new logo just kind of continues uh, to set the bar high for the Park District. So, um, and then along with the business cards and the letterhead and all that, um, phase two will kind of be um, all of the signage that you see with our fleet vehicles right here outside on our windows, the entrances, um, the signs, the two marquees out front here and the East Side Community Center. Um, so that's kind of the direction that we're going now. So we have some promotional products that we've got. So we did give some pens away, some chip clips, things like that, uh, to kind of start getting it out into the community as well as staff apparel. So do you guys have any questions about it? Or? I'm sorry, what is the timeline for completing the, com the whole rollout? Very soon. Well, part of that implementation plan is also park signage. Mm -hmm. And that can, that can take up to five years because right. we have 40 parks. So right. it's going to take considerable amount of time and we're also going to have to look at the type of material that the signs would be made out of to make sure that it's um, 
cost effective, mm -hmm. but also weather conducive. So, we so have a lot to of answer these. your question, it really depends on which phase of the, the process we're talking about. Um, obviously, we want to get it out as soon as possible in areas that we can get it out immediately. Right. Um, our park signs right now are kind of fortunate that they don't have our current logo on them. So um, that allows us a little bit extra time to be able to do that and to be able to spread out financially to be a little bit more cost effective that way. Um, but things like forms and things like the website, it will be updated tomorrow and we are having it animated. So it'll be a spinning pinwheel on the website. Um, so things like that on our social media pages, website, email signature, I'm working with our IT people right now to get that implemented on all staff computers. So wherever we can do it now, within the next month or so, hopefully, most of that will be. And completed. since, since uh, Carrie and Allison have been working on this, um, any piece of equipment, truck, uh, trailer, that in the last 18 months that we've purchased uh, don't have any identification on them other than municipal plates with the hopes of using those as the first phase of the branding that the public would see in motion. Right. So we don't have to repaint them. No, sir. Exactly. Right. Great. It's all going to be on the brand new ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. Brand new. Yeah. Brand new. Oh. Brand new. I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get this into the uh, um, IEPD, uh, the marketing, that they get out awards for brand? It will absolutely be a part of the, <laughs> the agency is showcase a at conference. That in? Is there a deadline that you have to submit all this by? Um, yeah, we do have some time with that, luckily. <laughs> and the beautiful so. part about it is Carrie has really put together an airtight plan that she can pretty much just plug into the application because she has been so thorough and um, I love her implementation plan. I, I've reviewed it. I, I didn't really have many changes to it. She thought of everything. So Good. it's been Fantastic. airtight. And staff has been incredibly helpful. Any questions I've had, getting sizes, getting, you know, like it's, it's been, staff has made it so easy, um, you know, to, to get things done and get things ordered. So it's been, it's been fun to see people's reactions and you know to, I told Allison today when I picked up the embroidered polos that I'll give you guys shortly um, the person at the embroidery shop so as Allison mentioned they see hundreds of logos when I went to pick them up she made the comment she said wow you guys have a really cool logo and I said thanks it's brand new we're just rolling it out and she said well it's really cool I like it awesome. so to hear that from somebody who does that day in and day out was really cool I think the business card idea of making you know allowing the staff to have whatever of the four main colors i think that's perfect because they can tie it back to essentially what they do you know and and uh i mean it's really it, it kind of makes sure that everybody really gets involved in that whole selection process of the different colors i think that's cool and each of you gets to choose your own color yes. too oh you we do want you guys to have that was not mentioned yeah. right. I have, um, <laughs> i've got one question that maybe even goes to jim do we need anything to do to register a trademark or anything to it's a good question. The, the last one wasn't trademarked, to my knowledge. Or is there an advantage? Unless you're concerned that somebody um, might use that image for profit in a way that would interfere with the Park District's use of it. Um, there's no reason to. Um, it, 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 you could certainly um, register it at the state level. Um, there's been some recent case law about municipal logos and um, at the federal level, it's probably not the kind of thing you would get a trademark for um, from the patent office. But um, the, uh, the certainly, it wouldn't it, um, take much effort to register it with the state. Hmm. I want to look into. And really, I, yeah, I, it's an interesting suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, I really think that this new mm -hmm. logo depicts the forward-thinking mindset of the board. Um, staff is on board um, and really the community I think is eager to see this next era of the park district this next phase so I really feel like this is timely to introduce the new logo and that's why really the unveiling it really marks a new new page in history oh yeah it's fresh it's new it, it's bright it really says a lot about where the park district is going so I love it I like it a lot it's good thank you good job Good job, Gary. Okay, uh, moving forward, old business. 
administrative and governance policy discussion. Um, this is the second reading of this part of uh, the administrative manual and the governance manual. Um, I think first I will entertain a motion to approve the policies from the administrative and governance manuals as presented. So moved. Second. Motion by Gray, second by Riley. Is there any discussion? No updates or we or talked about a little bit last month. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Just, that's why I kind of jumped right into right. the into the motion. Um, please call the roll. Gray, aye. Riley, aye. Foyles, aye. Callahan, absent. Tillman, aye. Motion carries. New business. Um, this is uh, the uh, first reading of an administrative and governance policy discussion uh, for. Um, a different section of the manual, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, after reading this, I don't have any updates or changes. Does anybody else have any discussions or, or updates they'd like to talk about? Nothing jumped out. No? And a lot of this has been reviewed by yeah. uh, Ansel Glink and Paderma as well. If after uh, thought, um, we can email any changes or suggestions. Please. And, mm -hmm. and then I assume we will have the second reading in, of this next month, right? Yep. Read. 14B, award of exterior painting of Batavia Depot Museum. Yay. <laughs> um, before you are on your computers, <laughs> you have uh, my recommendation uh, memo on this, uh, awarding this contract. This kind of came up really quick. Carla, uh, doing her due diligence, went out and got some quotes for painting the museum. Uh, all came in over the $20,000 figure, our trigger figure, for having to go to public bid. So um, we put together a specification and put it out and as you say, we only got two bids in, but uh, the low bid is actually within our budget, and uh, the budget number that was set for this project. Um, and I did my reference checking and got uh, all very, very good reference uh, back from the folks that I spoke with. Um, this young man has been around a pretty good time, a length of time, uh, doing this painting, and he does a lot of municipal work. So you can, you've read my recommendation. Um, I'd say we go forward. When was the last time it, the museum was painted? We think it was about 11 years ago. Yeah. Okay. And and we don't anticipate it for another long while once this is done, right? Yeah. Yeah. We've been doing it uh, approximately every 10 or 11 years. Mm -hmm. Now, Carla, which of these colors in the new logo do you want? <laughs> <laughs> One side of it is going to be one color, another side is another. It's a big smile mode, you know? There you go. Well, at one point I was asked, uh, are we going to keep it the same colors? And I said, well, yeah. And we went back and looked, and the it was this same color scheme when it moved across town in the in the early 70s. So it's, so it's been like red and black forever. It's time to change it. Great. No, time to change it. Let's go the green and, and yellow. And actually, the Depot uh, Museum's logo did change uh, more recently, too. Well, we can't change it. We have ornaments that have these right. colors. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I entertain a motion to award the contract for painting the Depot Museum. To the lowest responsive and responsible bidder, Muscat Painting and Decorating of East Dundee, Illinois, in the amount of $24,878. So moved. Second. Motion by Foyle, second by Gray. Please read the roll. Foyles. Aye. Gray. Aye. Riley. Aye. Callahan, absent. Oh. Tillman. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, 14C, award of a contract poured in place safety service for South Mill Creek Community Park. Uh, this is our ADA uh, project for the year uh, from our Special Recreation Fund. Um, you are all familiar with the rubberized port and place surface that uh, is very popular under uh, playgrounds. Uh, it is very expensive under playgrounds. Um, however, um, the surplus uh, that is available in our Special Rec Fund has allowed us, now that we've gotten to a point where we can use uh, a good sized chunk of it uh, to really spend the money at this playground out at South Mill Creek, which really is our most accessible playground in the district. Um, 
on purpose, we did it out there. Um, knowing that Markland was right across the street, we utilized uh, some of their staff uh, input uh, when we did this back in 07, and it proved to be a very good partnership then. Um, they are excited that we're going to be doing this. I think they're, they really are going to be able to get a, little, a lot more use out of it, probably. Uh, while our shredded wood surface is accessible, it is not as easy to maneuver in as this surface will be. So this is kind of going to be a fun uh, green and brown and blue combination uh, design. Well, it'll be all, just the, the whole the play area, or will it extend out? In it's going to be just inside the curved area. Okay. We're just replacing the wood surfacing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wherever the more wherever the wood surfacing is, is okay. right. It, yeah. That's coming out, and this is going to take its place. So yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a rubber surface. On these, uh, on the uh, the product that was uh, specified that the particular uh, the hacienda is going to be using is uh, has a ten year warranty. Um, it it really kind of all depends. Um, I think they would tell you that uh, that probably ten to fifteen years. Mm -hmm. We're going to be rolling it out before that anyway. So uh, the playground itself. Mm -hmm. um, so it will be. Uh, I think we're going to get plenty of life out of it. And how long does the, the wood chips last? I mean, how long do you have to keep replacing those every year? All every time, year, yeah. Eric's crews replenishes back up to the to the the proper level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as they kind of decompose down to the bottom. Right. And then when it comes time on our regular playgrounds that we uh, renovate them, we dig all that back out, and it's kind of ugly down on the bottom down there. <laughs> <laughs> Will you start using this port and play? The, the port and play surface, um, if there are, if it's an appropriate kind of playground to put it in, it is extremely expensive. Okay. I mean, as you can see, mm -hmm. uh, this is a lot just for the surfacing. Um, but due to the proximity with Markland right, right. across oh, right. the street, right. it right. Right. Yes. makes total sense. Okay. Yeah. And it's a proper We'd love use to. of this fund. We'd love to, if we can, if we could do it. Maybe going to some of the smaller playgrounds with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Um, all right, I will entertain a motion to award the contract for the installation of port and place safety service at the South Mill Creek Community Park Playground to the lowest responsive and responsible bidder, Hacienda Landscaping of Plainfield, Illinois, in the amount of $113,365. So moved. Second. Motion by foot, second by Riley. Um, please call the roll. Doyles. Aye. Riley. Aye. Gray. Aye. Callahan absent. Tillman. Aye. Motion carries. 14D. Trucks. <laughs> Tonka trucks. Trucks. Yeah, before you is uh, my recommendation to um, award a bid for a crew cab four wheel drive pickup truck. This is. Uh, uh, an item we went out to a competitive bid last um, July, last Wednesday, July 9th. Let me get my thoughts together here. Um, and it, it does reflect our uh, replacement schedule that we currently have. And um, we had three companies participate. And full, out of that, we had four competitive bids, and the results are before you. Uh, we've received um, vehicles from this company before and had a good level of support. So my recommendation is to move forward with awarding of the bid to Haggerty Ford of West Chicago. Is this a new truck? Yes. It's a good deal. <laughs> Do you want to negotiate? <laughs> yeah, but when you go to buy a truck, put it out to bid. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Okay, all right. <laughs> wow, you're really good negotiating. <laughs> my blush. I try hard. Standard steering, stick shift. Standard steering. They have hand crank windows, vinyl, hot vinyl seats. No carpet. No hubcaps. Nothing fancy. Well, I entertain a motion to award this bid to the lowest responsive and responsible bidder, Haggerty Ford, West Chicago, Illinois, in the amount of $26,315. So moved. Second. Uh, motion by Gray, second by Foils. Any other discussion? Anybody else want to bid on the truck? Going, going, done. Please call the roll. Do you have to do anything to these trucks? I mean, once it comes in, do you have to rig them a certain? 
Yeah, we, uh, we get a few it, items, not too many. Um, we have some safety items. Can you take it off what you have, or do you have to buy something to put on this? We have to buy something to put on it. Um, so this the could plow. be a $40,000 truck. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're still uh, coming under budget. Um, okay. So uh, we uh, the biggest expense after this would be the plow, but the rest is you know fire extinguisher, first aid kit, okay. um, strobe light. Okay. That's about it. So they're all ready to go. Mm -hmm. they, I, I make sure they have the appropriate hitch on it, lights. And new logo. Yeah, and new logo. A, yeah. Big canvas for logo, yeah. yeah. So good question, though. Thank you. Great. Um, any other discussion? Please call the roll. Great. Aye. Boyles. Aye. Riley. Aye. Kellyanne Absent. Tillman. Aye. Motion carries. Truck purchased. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, item 15, Fox Valley Special Rec. Yes, uh, tomorrow actually is Fox Valley Special Rec annual day at the park in St. Charles of Potawatomi from 10 to 1. Um, they have 1,000 campers and staffers and volunteers oh. that pack the park. It's kind of an appreciation day. So that's tomorrow. That's awesome. Yeah. Pack the park, it's a fun day. It'll be a beautiful day for mm -hmm. tomorrow. Yeah, it should be really nice tomorrow. Good. They deserve it. Item 17, any other business to come before the board? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. If I can just have two minutes, I apologize. I just was driving by and- You can have four. Three, <laughs> thanks. Uh, <laughs> saw that you guys were in here and it reminded me that uh, you had your meeting tonight. So I just wanted to say thank you to the park district and just recognize staff for how much effort goes into that Windmill City Fest. This was my first go around this year, uh, partnering with the park district on this event and man my feet will never forgive me uh, and I am sure that this group and you know we all put our heart and soul into this past weekend and the months leading up to it and I uh, just wanted to say thank you for all of the time and effort and I'm sure you're you know recognized internally for all you guys do but um, just from an outsider's perspective it was an awesome weekend and I know I couldn't have done what I did without all of you and it just was really awesome to spend the weekend with you. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Fun to hang with and you. And we know that you watch BATV. Yes. So you'll get to hear <laughs> earlier on. We thanked you too, but um, we enjoy working with you immensely, if not even more than you wor enjoy working with us. Well, thank you. Yeah, we like you more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like you more. Yeah. Yeah. We had, yeah, we had lots of discussions at the beginning of this whole project that we were probably going to break up work-wise you know, over this weekend but hopefully it, we we stay together and uh, this relationship only continues to grow uh, from year to year so and thank you to the young men for sitting patiently I know this is probably the most stimulating part of your day ice cream I was going to say and yeah I would think that you deserve something special oh, yeah. for this right yeah, now. yeah. yeah. Yes. DQ is a block DQ. DQ, 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 DQ. smells on their DQ. Do not listen. <laughs> I know that your fun is their business. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well done. So <laughs> we have a good talk. Even, even, the, even the camera guy is shaking his head now. <laughs> So awesome. thanks for thanks, your time. Holly. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. Yeah. Bye guys. Um, let's see. The look at his eyes. We're here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that we have no other business, uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn our meeting uh, July fifteenth, two thousand fourteen, at seven forty-six. Second. <laughs> Motion by close. Second by Riley. Was that it? Or we're backwards. Motion by Riley. Second by Foils. Uh, did we just voice vote on that? Adjourn? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you.